This just in from the NFL. The Tennessee Titans have signed former Seahawks safety Jamal Adams. It's a reported one-year deal for Adams, who was released this offseason after spending four years in Seattle. Adams made three straight Pro Bowls early in his career, but has not been the same since tearing his quad in 2022. And because of that, the production certainly is dipped, so it's worth a refresher on the career path of Jamal Adams, just in case you forgot, the guy who used to be considered one of the best safeties in the league certainly has not been that since because of injuries. Nine and a half sacks in 2020, has not recorded a sack since that season in 2020, now heading over to Tennessee to compete for that starting safety job. Now bringing my guy, Lijay Ducible, and Lijay first, your reaction to Jamal Adams heading to Tennessee, does this move the needle at all? I don't think it necessarily moves the needle. You equated and talked about some of the things that Jamal Adams has been through. First and foremost, he hasn't been healthy. Going back to the 2020 season, that was the last time, Zach, he completed a whole season. So first and foremost, that is the question. What Jamal Adams are you going to get? And then we also saw the stats up there in that 2020 season went crazy rushing off the edge as a safety over nine sacks, which I believe was a record for anybody in the secondary. So that's what I want to know. What? How are they going to use Jamal Adams? Are they going to go? back to the guy that had a lot of production in the box coming off the edge because there have been times when he's been put in situations where he had to carry the tight end or be in the middle field safety where he's really struggled so it'll be inter interesting Zach because he's still kind of young he's only 28 years old and like you said people have forgotten about him because he has been injured but he's still a young player Amani Hooker and Elijah Molden the yep. two safeties listed there as starters do you think he has a chance to actually come in compete become a starter and maybe help mold a Tennessee team that's under a new regime I think this is a scenario where they use him as a third safety Zach so many times in the NFL where there's so many different packages there's a lot of defensive coordinators that like to implore a three safety look and Jamal Adams could be that dime linebacker on passing downs where he could play in the linebacking position cover guys down the scene and then you could even use him as a chess piece where he brushes off the edge and get to the quarterback because that's where he's been most effective I don't see this being a scenario because he's already coming in behind the eight ball coming in this late going into training camp to learn the playbook. I don't think he upseats the two starters. I think he is added into that package and becomes a third safety. Certainly probably just hope for health for, for him. sure. First and foremost. Yeah, missed yeah. 33 of a possible 67 regular season Ooh, games. A lot of games during his four seasons <laughs> there with Seattle. But now we get the schedule here of the Titans for what Jamal Adams will be looking like as he heads over to Tennessee. You see starting off with uh, the Bears and then a reunion Union game at home taking on the Jets. That'll be fun to watch week three with the Packers. You see the way that all pay out for a new head coach and a new safety there in Jamal Adams headed to the Tennessee Titans.